Hi, if you want to do your PhD from Italy, then this video is for you. Assalamu alaikum and hello to everyone. Welcome back to my YouTube channel, Accelerator to Achieve. I hope you all are doing well and safe. I am Sultan Sheikh, PhD scholar at Hamad bin Khalifa University, Qatar. In this video, I am going to talk about Politecnico di Torino. It is a Polytechnic University of Turin, Italy. Uh, so, uh, they just announced the 38 cycle for PhD scholarships. So, let's get started. My dear friends, if you want to follow me in this video, then you can open this link. I had put this link in the description uh, below. Uh, now, uh, the admission is divided into three separate sessions. Okay. First, second, and uh, third. So, they have a different deadline. So, the deadline for the first session is February 28, 2022. Second session deadline is 1st June 2022. And the third session deadline is the 22nd September 2022. And the time is mentioned over here. Okay. And, uh, and now there are different type of uh, positions available, ordinary and reserve position. You can uh, see over here. Uh, one of them is fully funded PhD position with own research topic. Second one is a fully funded PhD position with predefined research topic position for PhD in apprenticeship and positions without a scholarship. So we will discuss about first two positions. Okay. So my dear friends, uh, there are two type of PhD scholarship, one with uh, own research topic and one with a predefined research topic. And uh, you will get the monthly stipend of 1386 euro in this scholarship. Okay. Uh, if you want to know more about this scholarship, you can uh, read this uh, web page. Okay. Now let's talk about the requirements and procedure for admission. My dear friends, to apply for this scholarship, you have to open this website. That is a www.polito.it and you have to register first if you are logging for the first time. Okay. And graduates and graduates from political and auditory now must log into the uh, apply at Polito platform using their credentials. Means if you are, um, you know, get your master degree from this university, then you have to apply uh, and log in through your credentials, which you have already. Okay. Uh, and uh, to submit the application, applicants are required to possess Master of Science degree. Okay. And they do not allow students to enter any PhD program obtaining this no later than 30 April 2022 for the first session and 31st October 22 for the second and third session. For example, many students say that we still didn't complete our degree, then uh, they can apply for the scholarship if they get their degree before 30 April for the first session and before 31st October 22 for the second and the third session. Okay. And the present the following documents which are partially different based on the country in which the MSc degree is obtained. If you completed your degree from Italy, then you have to uh, submit these documents. Uh, and if you have uh, you know, completed your MS degree from foreign countries, then you have to uh, submit uh, uh, these documents uh, which are given on the uh, right side, okay? In which uh, 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 your uh, degree is included as well as a GRE score, okay? And uh, if a person says more than one MS degree, the student shall indicate which degree they want to be available for the purpose of the selection process. Now, certificate of English language knowledge also required, also the minimum score of five. One of the language certificate accepted in the substitution for IELTS 5.0 is also acceptable. Uh, you want to check more detail, then you have to click on this link. Otherwise, the certificate is studying that the students uh, have obtained Bachelor of Master degree in which English was a medium uh, of instruction. And then you can submit also that certificate. Uh, the certificate is called the English Language Proficiency Certificate. Okay. The call for admission can be submitted even if the above certificate have not been obtained yet, but applicants shall obtain one of them before the deadline for the first time enrollment expired 31st October 22. Means you can submit an uh, um, uh, English language professor certificate, IELTS certificate before 31st October 2022. And uh, there are some other instructions given. Uh, one of them is that you have to submit the non-refundable application fee of 30 uh, euros. Okay. And uh, if you want to know more about the PhD apprenticeship, you can uh, uh, check out here, uh, but I'm not going to discuss in this uh, video, okay? Now let's talk about evaluation of candidates. Once you uh, submit your application, uh, then uh, 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 they actually evaluate the candidates based on the uh, different uh, criteria. So the criteria includes uh, your qualification, 
in which they have the maximum 40 points and candidates statement of purpose and any recommendation by the referees named in the application form and it has the maximum 20 points and interview has a maximum of 40 points okay so similarly here again uh, the person who completed their degree in Italy uh, so they have to indicate at the call in with the publication can allocate up to maximum 10 points and the final graduation mark of MSc degree can allocate up to maximum 8 points so maximum uh, you have the maximum 40 points in which uh, 10 points from uh, 10 points is for your publication and 8 points is uh, your final graduation mark of MSc degree Similarly, for the students who completed their degree outside the Italy, they have the 10 points for the publication and 8 points for the GRE score. Maximum for this section, uh, they have total 40 points. And I already mentioned that uh, for a candidate student of purpose, recommendation uh, by the referee's name in the application form include 20 maximum points. Uh, and for the interview, they have the uh, 40 points. Only those candidates who will totalize at least 40 points in the preliminary evaluation of qualification, motivational interest statement, recommendation letter shall be admitted to the interview. Means uh, uh, out of 60, you have to uh, take 40 points to appear in the interview. Okay. And uh, now uh, let's talk about then uh, you have to go for the results and ranking means you have to select uh, uh, finalize the you know uh, which in which program you are interested you have to select it before five days of interview you can uh, read this section by yourself uh, and then uh, you have to appear in the uh, interview so uh, everything is mentioned here again for the interview uh, you can read it by yourself uh, again uh, and there are some uh, pre phd scholarships uh, which is uh, for those uh, uh, actually, uh, it is reserved for those students who are admitted to uh, ordinary position with a scholarship allocated within the first session of the call for admission and the above mentioned scholarship amounting 1150 euros and is allocated at maximum for the six months. Uh, if you want to know more about uh, pre PhD scholarship, you can read this uh, section. Okay. Uh, so that's it. Uh, if you have any other question, kindly let me know in the comment box below. Uh, and must apply if you are eligible. Uh, good luck. Thank you so much. See you in the next video.